in about seven more hours, I'll get settled in right here with my CVA Optima. Wish me luck, friends. It's time to make some Wiener Schnitzel for sure. <laughs> Funny, my bow is sitting back at camp. If I had it with me, I'd have definitely had a shot. Welcome to A Sportsman's Life. We're so glad you tuned in to join us for another exciting real world outdoor adventure right here on A Sportsman's Life. Well, friends, we had about four inches of rain in the last three days, and the old slough is bank full. All the bottoms are flooded out pretty much right now, so I expect these hogs are going to be up on high ground. Hopefully, we'll take this old CVA muzzle loader, my Optima 50 caliber, and collect some pork at my feeder back here. I'm hoping the feeder will be high and dry. I think it will be. Lots of water out here, though. Well, friends, I am a bit optimistic about this evening's hog hunt. Here I am with my little makeshift blind. Doesn't look like much of a blind, but it's a good hide for where the hogs are going to be coming from. My CVA Optima. Love this rifle. Got it loaded up with the power belt, 330 grain, I believe it is, bullet, and 100 grains of white hot, two tablets or two pellets there. And folks, here's why I'm excited. Just before dark, for the past several days, hogs have been coming out of this thick cover, and they've been coming right over here. I will show you why. Got this feeder set to go off this evening about 5.45. So we're gonna be right over here with our CVA muzzle loader. And we're going to be watching really, really close for the hogs to come out. Right here is where I expect to see them come out. I'm on a, actually hunting on a fence row. I'll show you what we've got here. Plenty of cover right here. We're about 60 yards from that feeder. But this fence row goes down. It's really a perfect setup for these hogs. Folks, here's some more positive input for my afternoon or late afternoon hog hunt right here. Hog droppings right there. The feeder is right there. Oh, Luke will be right there. In about seven more hours, I'll get settled in right here with my CVA Optima. Wish me luck, friends. We need some fresh pork. Well, friends, we are back about an hour and a half before dark. Nothing around the feeder just yet. Turkey's gobbling in the background. But we're going to go on down the fence line. Here's the fence line. We're going to be setting up in that chair down at the corner. And we're expecting those birds, those turkeys that were gobbling back over there to be coming back over this hill right here. Sounded like two gobblers just sounded off. So here's where we're going to be watching. Hopefully those porkers will come out. I'm hoping for one that's a smaller one eater size, but when you're hunting hogs, you just never know. So let's go get settled in and see what we can see. Friends, we didn't make it back to the feeder. There is a bunch of hogs out here. There's a big fat one right out there. I think she's trying to scent me.
Well, Fred, here's the hogs. They've got to hit this feeder. Hopefully they'll make a circle around. I don't think I spooked them. Friends, the tracking job was easy. Shot the hog right over there, probably 40 yards. It's a young, fat gilt, young sow. And trust me, there is no better eating in the woods. This one's gonna make some great back strap, whatever. I'm gonna make sure and do a good job field dressing this rat's gonna get it home and clean it up. Uh, what can I say, folks? CVA wrote the book on muzzle loaders. <clears throat> this is a 50 caliber Optima. Uh, I don't think you can find a better muzzle loader anywhere. Very happy with it. I'm shooting, uh, actually shooting, two 50 grain pellets of white hot, and I was only shooting probably, oh, maybe, maybe 60 yards, 65 yards, but. Shot it where you, where you saw me shoot it back behind me on the hill. The hog ran from there to here, which is 40 yards. I'll give you a close look at it. Like I say, very proud of this one. This will make some fine, fine wild pork, which I do consider to be some of the best eating in the woods. Well, friends, it is time for old Luke to get the skinning knife out and go to work on this good eating piece of wild pork right here. We're going to have some chicken fried pork back straps real soon. Got to go back and jerk the hams off that hog, but good eats ahead, folks. Brought to you by Dallas Safari Club, conservation, education, and hunter advocacy. Hornaday, accurate, deadly, dependable. Taurus Firearms, maker of the Raging Hunter. Stealth Vision, high-tech, precision-driven equipment tailored for the modern hunter. Yeah, it's your old buddy Luke Clayton. It's time to make some Wiener Schnitzel for sure. <laughs> no, my German is, uh, even my imitation of a German speaking English is not very good. But my Wiener Schnitzel here, Wiener Schnitzel, is pretty doggone tasty. I don't know if you would call this pork Wiener Schnitzel, but I do know it's Schnitzel. I've had it at some German restaurants. I thought, why not turn that wild hog that we procured with that CVA muzzleloader last night into some schnitzel. So what schnitzel is, is pork pounded out very thin. And if you look, give you a little side view, this is really, really thin. Basically, we're going to have this and we're going to take it right over here in some flour. And we're going to dust it with flour and then we're going to fry it. It will not take long to make this very, very crispy and tender. And then, in true German's fashion, we're going to have some sauerkraut and maybe some beets. So, let me uh, get this sizzling in the skillet, and then we will we'll take a look, see what we've got. Yeah, it's your old buddy Luke. Check it out. How about this schnitzel, folks? To be honest with you, I've already polished off a plate of this. Some good beets and some kraut, sauerkraut. Is that a German meal or what? Tell you what, the next time you get a, get a good wild hog there, take those loins out, cut them real thin, and make some schnitzel. I think you'll really enjoy it. I know I have. A Sportsman's Life is also brought to you by Mossberg, American Built, American Strong. The Wyo Steakhouse, Catch and Release Apparel. AGM Global Vision, your go-to for thermal hunting scopes and spotters. Pyramid Air, your one-stop shop for everything air guns. 
and Vineyard Max Deer Products. This is Bill with Striker Express with your fishing tip this week on Sportsman's Life. Hey, this is Captain Todd with Striper Express. I just wanted to stop in here and give you guys a quick note on what's going on topwater. It's going crazy. Let me just tell you, it has been on fire for the last couple of weeks, and we are getting them on pretty much anything you want to throw on top. Uh, so get down here to Striper Express and uh, get on some of these fish. I'd like to take a minute to talk about spot and stalk. The one thing that I get asked the most is how do you kill so many hogs? The reason is I walk very slowly. I can't emphasize this enough. When you're walking into a blind you need to be super stealthy and walk super slow. You need to continually scan the woods for any movement. If you see movement stop and watch. The trick is you want to see your game before they see you. Use the trees and brush in the area to cover any movement. Of course stay in the shadows of trees. You don't want to be caught in the open. Did I say walk slow? <laughs> yeah let me repeat myself. You need to walk super slow. That's how animals catch you, is by movement. When they see movement, they're gone. It's really quite amazing what you will see when you walk slow. I've killed more animals walking in than I have sitting in a blind. When you're spot and stalking, plan your moves and expect the unexpected.
funny if I was sitting back at camp, if I had it with me, I'd have definitely had a shot. But what's more important is to show you how you can use a tree and walk and you can get real close to hogs. These are all within shooting distance. Folks, this segment was brought to us by Gearhead Archery, Smoke Intex Electric Smokers, Snaplock Hunting Blinds, Y.O. Ranch Headquarters, Ultramatic Feeders, and Catfish Pro. Tune in next week for some more real-world outdoor adventures right here on A Sportsman's Life.